it's Beth. I am back. This is the third, third video that I am posting. Well, it's my fourth video, but my third five minutes, I think. I'm not really keeping track. Uh, I had a, for those of you who have seen me before, I have a channel. This is my channel. And I did some stuff on it a long time ago, almost a year. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. I came down and I wanted to do like a video after I got all my stuff done. And I didn't have any hair things, but I had a bobby pin. And I'm not a bobby pin person. Kind of. Sorry, guys. People. Friends. Oh, Lord. Now I just made it worse. Okay, so I pick, I pick one topic and I speak on it for five minutes. Nope. I think that's better. All right, so I pick one topic and I speak on it for five minutes. That's 10. This is five. And as I mentioned, I think I mentioned, I've been up, I've been up for a bit and today I was making phone calls and that makes me think about my topic of fear of making phone calls because these five minutes are usually about anxiety. All right, so yeah, here I go. Computer, give me a five minute timer. Five minutes, starting now. I have not always been scared to make phone calls. In fact, I used to make a lot of phone calls in my job. I used to call customers and schedule to make appointments for logistics deliveries. Uh, and I don't remember ever being nervous to make a phone call. It was always annoying to call in lunch, especially because I'm not a special order kind of person. I'm a, you get what you get, you pick off the rest. Maybe sauce is on the side, but that's kind of understandable. Um, and usually my, you know, if I'm, if I'm placing an order, it's plus this, add this, half this, light that, I don't know. So I'm trying to recall when I started having a problem making phone calls because it did become an issue. I didn't I stopped making phone calls on my behalf to make doctor's appointments to like right now I have a like okay right now I have a uh I have a loan that I didn't oh it just even hurts to say I have a loan that I didn't lock in before the rates started rising and that is due in part because I have some financial fears, I'm sure, but that's due in part because I could not make a phone call about that. It made me very nervous. And maybe I was lying to myself and telling myself that rates would go back down or they would stop sooner than they did. That was a silly of me. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I don't know what it is about making phone calls. Um, I've started to think that maybe it's the fear of the unknown. Uh, like, am I going to get my issue resolved? Am I going to get what I want? Am I going to get what I need? Is the phone call going to, am I going to be able to hear the person? Are they going to be understand me? Are they going to think I'm a male? It's happened. So, yeah, the fear of making phone calls, it really, it, it's really, it doesn't make sense sometimes even to me. If you have a problem with making phone calls or if you can identify with me or if you have anything that's helped you leave a comment below uh, because that would be amazing for some tools um, sometimes I've written out my script but today was a success because I was able to make at least three calls I used to delay them you know I put them on the list and I would delay them towards the end of the day and then it's like oh it's past five oh darn but now I've learned to make them in the morning as soon as everything wakes up so eight o'clock I'm making up I am if it's one of those long hold things you know you do that so I did that yay Beth I don't know I've always hated making phone calls on my behalf yeah I, I would make phone calls for work all the time calling people I don't know and I don't even know what I'm walking into sometimes. What is it about calling, you know, on my behalf for me, like for loans or for appointments, doctor's appointments or goodness sakers, how many things do you have to make calls on, you know? Utility calls, 
quotes, getting quotes for repairs, just information generally to live on. I don't know. It's, I wish I knew why I had a problem making the phone calls as I do. Maybe I can't talk five minutes about calls because it is what it is. I mean, I am getting better. Like I had said, there was a lot of things that I had neglected when I couldn't make the calls. Um, but I'm getting better. It's still, I still run into issues though. I still need to, I still, I still need to call the bank about that interest thing. Like, you know how much money I've lost? I don't even want to think about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Is it five minutes yet? It has to be five minutes. So what are your things? Like, do you, so calling on lunch, there you go. That's what I was gonna say. So I didn't have a problem calling with lunch. Now, like, I don't want to call a place to order food. I feel like I'm bothering, I feel like I'm bothering everybody, but it's their job. Why do I feel like I'm bothering people at their job? So that's, I would rather order online. If you guys, don't, if people don't have like a website to order food, I'm probably not calling. And I'm sure that's probably the same for everybody, but it's probably not the same reasons I have. Like I said, I, f I think it is. I think I feel like I'm bothering people. And then you have people answer the Hello, what can I do for this? Come on, no. Come on. Like, <sighs> Thank God for that timer. I am sorry that I rambled on and computer cancel. I just did that because I had a text message on my phone. Sorry. All right. So that was my third five minutes. Um, you know, they're not supposed to be prepared. Maybe they need to be prepared a little bit. Like I said, the topic jumped out at me because of what I did this morning. Uh, we'll see what I do next time. I am thinking about doing some different stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have different playlists. This one, I do want to keep my five minutes. I also have something like I, I want to stop watching TV for a little bit and I want to record that. So that's going to be something that I that I might incorporate. incorporate. All right. Have a good rest of your day and tomorrow. Ooh, that's good. Have a good rest of your day and a good tomorrow. Can I say that? Is that like, does anybody else say that? Can that be like my sign off? Have a good rest of your day and a good tomorrow. Let me know if you like that. Thanks for watching throughout the end.